Why is my light not working? There must be something wrong with your ass. Maybe we can ask Dr. Frankenstein, but I don't know where he is. I know where he'll be tomorrow. He's the guest speaker for Dr. Stone's 10 a.m. biochem class. Let's go! And now I'd like to welcome our special guest, Dr. Frankenstein. Thank you, thank you, and hello everyone. I'm going to speak to you guys about my grad school research topic, the secret of life. Ah! Sorry to frighten you, class. We just need to talk to Dr. Frankenstein. What's this about? Dr. Frankenstein, please help me. My light is out and I don't know what to do. We came to see you right away, sir. I will be delighted to help you two out. Meet me back in my lab at 2 o'clock and we will figure this out. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Frankenstein, will you please come back and give a lecture on what you are able to find? I think this research may go hand in hand with our enzyme lecture next week. I will be delighted to return, Dr. Stone. Hello, Fireflies. Thank you for seeing us on such short notice. Not a problem. Please let me introduce you two to my new lab assistant, Igor. Hello. Uh, Igor is going to be my, the lead researcher on this project. Now we are on a time crunch, so please let's get started. First, let's go through the basics. Firefly, do you know how you are able to produce light? I think so. It has to do with an enzyme, right? Right. Oh yes, but not just any old enzyme. This enzyme is special. It involves the production of light in many organisms, such as fungi, bacteria, and even you, fireflies. This enzyme is known as luciferase. Master, I drew the structure. Ah, yes. Good, Igor. I see you have drawn the secondary structure. As you can see here, fireflies, an enzyme has two compact domains, the N-terminus and the C-terminus. The end terminus is made up of two sheets stacked on top of each other in a structure known as the barrel that covers the ends of the sheets. The C terminus connects to the end terminus by a flexible hinge that separates the two domains. The active site is thought to be located in the cleft between these two domains due to the amino acid sequence being conserved on the surface of the two domains. Well, I'm glad I flew into Dr. Stone's lecture on protein. I understood exactly what you were talking about, but that doesn't explain why my light isn't working. No, to find that out, we need to explain the mechanism and how Lucifer works. Igor, bring me another whiteboard. Yes, Master. Now let me start off by drawing the D-isomer luciferase, which is what acts through the pathway that produces light. Since you flew into a biochemistry lecture, I'm hoping you also attended an organic chemistry lecture. In the first step of the mechanism, the carboxylate oxygen of D-luciferin will attack the phosphate in the alpha position of an ATP in a nucleophilic substitution reaction. This will make a pyrophosphate product. Igor, why don't you show me what you have learned so far? Go into more detail about this first step. Yes, Master, of course. The first step involves the amino acids, lysine 529, tyrosine 343, that act as hydrogen bond donors and electrostatic stabilizers. An important cofactor is magnesium that acts in the activation, substrate binding, electrostatic stabilizing, and in increasing the electrophilicity. Excellent, Igor. Now, Firefly, the second step involves the deprotonation of the pyrophosphate product by water. This deprotonation occurs at the C4 atom which creates a ionic intermediate. <clears throat> this proton is extracted then oxidizes luciferin to create a carbon ion. Igor, can you explain what type of mechanism allows for the creation of this carbon ion? Of course, Master. The creation of carbon ion is facilitated by the attack of molecular oxygen in the electrophilic manner the MP helps to increase the acidity of the C4 atom, which is already a good living group and aids in the creation of this carbon ion. Excellent. Igor, now, 
This allows for the formation of the deoxytenonin ring, which is important for the next step. The carbanion then attacks the deoxygen in, in a nucleophilic addition. After this occurs, an AMP product and a four-membered peroxo ring intermediate are formed. By the attack of the peroxidase anion on the carboxyl carbon by way of nucleophilic substitution. Are you still with me, fireflies? Yes, we are. Are you with me, class? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. We have finally come to the production of light. As a photon is produced, carbon dioxide is removed from the intermediate. The cleavage of the deoxotenin ring produces carbon dioxide and it <coughs> excites oxyluciferin, which, when it decays, will produce a photon at high efficiency. This light will be green and yellow in color, and that, dear students, is how fireflies' light works. So does anyone know why Firefly's light's not working? Maggie. Yes, give it a try. Is Firefly's light not working because there's no oxyluciferin in the excited state? That's it, exactly. Now I see, so my light isn't working due to an issue in producing excited oxyluciferin? How can I fix that? You need to fix the problem from the very beginning of the reaction. And this is where Igor can help. Recall, magnesium is an important cofactor that acts in activation, substrate binding, electrostatic stabilizing of ATP of the cipherane. So all you need, Firefly, is more magnesium in your diet. Thank you for all your help, Dr. Frankenstein. Not a problem, Fireflies. Class, are there any questions you have for Dr. Frank before he has to leave? I have a question. What are some applications you can do with luciferase? Excellent question. Luciferase has been used to track cell populations in live animals such as mice. Cells such as bone marrow cells, T cells, can be engineered to express, express luciferase to allow for a non-invasive visualization inside the live animal. In addition to that, there is the Glowing Plant Project which uses bacterial bioluminescence system to engineer glowing Arabidopsis plants that may, may be able to create an eco-friendly, sustainable light source. Thank you very much, Dr. Frank, for lecturing to my class about this. Anytime. It was my pleasure. <laughs>